Hello, my name is Jeremiah. I'm with EV Tech. In this video, I'll be going over using Affinity Designer to create text that follows along a path. So to get started, we're going to create a new. We'll just set this to web with a preset of 1280 by 800 with 72 dpi. First example, I'm just going to use a rectangle tool. Click and drag it on the screen. And then so make sure the rectangle is selected. Under the layer menu, use the option convert to text path. Click that. And your cursor will appear in one of the corners. We're going to increase the size of the font. And we'll just copy and paste this. So as you can see, it's wrapping around the rectangle. There you go. So you could also convert this shape prior to um, converting it to a text path. So we'll redo this rectangle. Convert to curves. That will allow us to add additional points and to manipulate um, the rectangle. So in, the, in the event you want to have a little more customized path, then we choose the option convert text or convert to text path. And then again, we'll type in. get around this corner, you can see, and it follows the path. Very cool. You can also edit this. You can drag um, where uh, the font is going to be um, um, starting and ending, etc., etc. I'd recommend just playing around with those. So we also want to do a path. So this tool right here, Vector Brush Tool, allow us to draw a path like so actually I don't like that so let's redo this I'm gonna do something like this there we go select make sure the uh, the shape is selected and we could also double click uh, you can click and highlight these points You've got some toolbar items for smoothing out the curves. If you need some help getting uh, your curves a little bit more smooth, you can also manipulate these uh, points right here. So again, we'll go convert to text path, and then we'll start typing. As you can see, it just follows the path. Very cool. Very easy. Also, if you want to make changes, you can um, select this, go to this tool right here, it's the node tool, and then you're able to select your points and drag these points around. And it also manipulates the text that's following the path. Very handy. This concludes the video. Thank you for watching.